Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we got WrestleMania 31 DVD review for you guys. Um, I'm going to go backwards with these reviews. Unless otherwise you guys uh, suggest which WrestleManias you would like to see. Um, I will do the suggested WrestleMania reviews first. But if no suggestions come up, I will just go backwards until we reach uh, WrestleMania 15. So take some time and subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, WrestleMania 31. Um, one of the better WrestleManias over the last few years. Um, you know, the build wasn't too crazy for this one. It, it really seemed like it was going to be a mediocre WrestleMania. And come showtime, things really delivered here. It seems like they were really firing on all cylinders. Um, definitely delivered as a, a, you know, classic WrestleMania. Um, so, does come with the slip cover, which I really like. And one of the last WrestleManias to include a number with it. Um, we got Brock and Roman on the spine. Um, let's see here. Runtime anywhere, guys. Not that I could see. So no runtime that I could see, but, you know, this is, um... Actually, Ronda Rousey's debut event. Um, besides our Royal Rumble 2018, Ronda Rousey did officially debut here. It wasn't her, you know, WWE debut. She was just posed as a fan in the crowd, stepped into the ring with The Rock, and, you know, confronted Stephanie and Triple H. So let's get into this one, guys. I love the artwork. Um, I'm not a fan of the spoilers on the back, though, you know, even though it was a classic moment, Seth Rollins cashing in Money in the Bank, um, the heist of the century. So let's get into it, guys. Um, cover, I like it because it's different. Uh, you know, for, for years and years, we always see, you know, the main event or the couple main events on the cover. Um, different is always good, and, and I like this cover quite a bit. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that cover, guys. I like the logo. Just plain, you know, gray, silver. Pretty cool. Not a fan of the play button, though. Um, never really got it. Never got it at all. But when we open her up, we got our Triple H entrance with the Terminator-style um, thing there, I guess. And then another shot of Rollins with the title. I can deal with spoilers on the inside. It's on the front and the back covers because, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't sit well with me. Inside panel here, we got a shot of Sting doing a dive onto DX. And uh, let's uh, take a look at the discs. Run down the matches, guys. So on disc one here, we got Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, John Cena, and Triple H. We got Aloe Black performs America the Beautiful. Um, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea who uh, Aloe Black is. And then we have our IC Championship ladder match, which was won by Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins, Sting versus Triple H. Um, got a segment with Maria Menounos and Daniel Bryan, Skylar Gray and Kid Ink uh, musical performance. AJ Lee and Page versus the Bella Twins. This would be AJ Lee's last match as she would announce her retirement a few days later. We got the US title match, Rusev versus John Cena, and we got the Rock and Ronda Rousey interrupting the authority. Disc two, we got Sting, Daniel Bryan, Rusev, and The Undertaker on there. Um, we got the rest of our WrestleMania card with Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. The WWE World Title Match, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Of course, uh, Seth Rollins would interfere, cash in Money in the Bank, make it a triple threat, and win the title here. 
We have our kickoff show matches here with the Fatal 4-Way for the WWE Tag Titles, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. This year was won by The Big Show, I believe. Then we got the start to our Hall of Fame. Uh, Rikishi, Larry Zabisco, Alunja Blaze, which will be continued on disc three. Look at that disc art. This is beautiful. One of my favorite uh, Hall of Fame discs. Uh, you know, you got Arnold, Larry, Alunja Blaze, Diesel, Macho Man, Rikishi. Got Tatsumi Fujinami and the Bushwhackers. Um, not the biggest Bushwhackers fan, I'll, I'll admit it. Um, surprisingly enough, we have no, uh, you know, Connor the Crusher, which, uh, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the Warrior Award, and maybe one day I'll do a big rant on that. But uh, continuing the Hall of Fame, we have Connor the Crusher Maholic, who was the first ever uh, Warrior Award recipient. We got the Bushwhackers, Tatsumi Fujinami, Macho Man Randy Savage, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Kevin Nash. We also have a couple special features with Cena preparing for Rusev and Seth Rollins is the future. So behind disc one here, we have different shots of Undertaker Bray Wyatt and then The Rock and Ronda Rousey. Behind disc two, we got our... Intercontinental and U.S. Champions. Uh, really cool. And then we got the play button uh, throughout the, um, you know, disc artwork. Kind of separating everything. And then we got a shot of Rollins and Orton. And then a shot from the main event, Brock and Roman. Really good match. That was an awesome match. So there we have it, guys. WrestleMania 31 DVD review. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have any uh, suggestions that you would like to see first for the WrestleMania DVD reviews, make sure you comment down below and I will get those ones out of the way first. But otherwise, your next WrestleMania DVD review will be WrestleMania 30. Take some time and subscribe, guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace!